Hello, my name is Kelly Antone, Siemens HMI and SCADA Specialist with PCC. In this lesson, I'm going to show you how to use the cross-reference in the TIA portal software. So the cross-reference can be used to show where objects are used or not used within a particular application and the relationships to other objects. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to look at my toolbox screen. So that's what I have open up right here. So when I right-click on my toolbox screen, I do have an option down here to select cross-references or cross-reference information. If you select cross-references, it will put the cross-reference info in this top window. If you pick cross-reference information, it puts the information down in the bottom window. So I'm going to pick cross-references to start. The first thing that comes up then is a big long list, and there's a ton of information that's displayed when you look at the cross-reference. The first thing that I like to do is usually come over and minimize or collapse all you know, of the references. So now I'm down to my starting point, which is my toolbox screen. Then when I expand it out, it's going to give me the first level of information of objects that are being used or, you know, on this particular screen. There's a filter condition up here. You have the ability to use existing filters or you have the ability to create your own custom filter. So right now the default is to show objects with references. So these would be objects that would have other references or dependencies you know, on other objects uh, within the application. If I switch this to, say, to show objects without references, now my list of objects change as far as what's being visible. So here you can see like a rectangle and some text objects. So there's really no relationship to any other objects you know, within the within this project. If I do select the drop down here, I do have the option to pick show all objects. I'll collapse one more time and expand this out. Now you can see all my objects with references and the objects without references. So as an example here, what I will do next is I'll come up here to this button object. So if I look at the button object, when I look at this particular object, you can see that there's a variety of references with the button object. So the first one is set bit while key pressed. So when you look at the cross-reference utility, you do also have the reference location so that you can quickly link and go to you know, where this is being used. So if I pick um, the set bit while key pressed, if I press on that, it will actually take me right to the object. So it selects the object and you know, it shows me you know, where that system function was being used. So I'll close that out. If I come back, then I've got tag references here. So on this uh, button object, this tag bit underscore one has multiple references. So it's being used on an appearance animation, a function, you know, and also you know, for a text list. So if I click on this link as an example, this will take me to where the tag bit underscore one is used on this selected object you know, and that particular animation. So the cross-reference gives you, you know, a nice way to be able to quickly access and you know, locate you know, different objects on the screen and their uses where they're being used. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to move over you know, to my project tree and I'm going to scroll down and I'm going to find user administration. This is another area where I like to use the cross-reference. So if I right-click on cross-reference, I right-click on user administration and select cross-references, that will bring up the cross-reference information for the user administration that's configured in this project. Again, I like to minimize you know, so that when I'm starting out I can kind of see where things are being used. So here you know, the first three entries, as an example, which I find very useful, are the authorizations that are defined within this project. So if I look at the monitor authorization, it's really not used anywhere except where it's defined in the administrator group. Same thing uh, if I look at the operate privilege, you know, it's just, you know, showing you, uh, you know, which section, you know, that's being used. Um, if I look at the user administration, it's only part of the user administration group. So now if I look at the operate privilege as an example, here we've got an additional entry here. So this privilege is used in the administrative group. It's also used in the users group, but it's also used on the user admin screen that we created in a previous lesson. So if I expand that out, I can actually see which objects are utilizing this authorization. So if I look, you know, expand out this column here and I click on the link, this will actually take me to the user admin screen and it will show me the object where the authorization is being used. Now this is, it shows you in the property page or uh, the property list. If I click on property pages, I can also come and look at the security and see the authorization here as well. All right. So when I come back, 
you know, this is a way that you can use the cross-reference in the user administration. Now, probably the most you know, popular, most common place that the cross-reference is going to be used is going to be with re when you're working with tags. So if I look at the HMI tags in my HMI, if I right-click on, on HMI tags, I'll select cross-references. This will bring up a listing of the tags you know, that are being used with references in this application. Again, I like to select the Collapse All button to start out. So these are the tags that have been created in our, in our application. So as an example, this is showing objects you know, with references. Now, what I can do is I can select Show Unused Objects. When I select Show Unused Objects, this is going to show me objects you know, that aren't being used in the actual application. So bit under, the bit underscore 2 tag was one tag in the diagnostics indicator tag you know, that are not assigned to any objects in, in, this, in this particular application. If I select Show All Objects and collapse it, this is going to show me all of my tags. So this allows you to show the tags that are, are being used and are not being used. So as an example here, if I look at um, bit underscore one, I can expand that out, and I can see that it's being used on a couple different screens. If I look at my toolbox screen, this tag bit underscore one is used on a variety of different objects and different locations on objects. So by clicking on any of these links, it would take you directly to where you know, the object is being used. Okay? If I look down at the HMI button, right, this particular object here, when I look at this one, this actually shows me that it's being used in the PLC. So if I look at the main section here, this is you know, my main OB1 block in my S7-1500 PLC that's in this project. I can click on the network here, so it's actually showing you what type of access is being used, so it can show you whether it's read or write, and you've got the you know, actual tag information here. So if I click on the network, I can find out where this is being used in the actual PLC. So that's a real nice you know, feature as well. The next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to my toolbox screen. So I have to go up to my screens area. I'm going to open up toolbox. You can also select an individual object. So for example here, if I select you know, the HMI button as an example, what I'll do is I will right click and I'll pick cross reference information. So now that changes my view down in the inspector window and so now I'm on the cross reference tab. So if I select another object it will quickly display the cross reference information for whichever object that I do select. So that's a nice way to do it. And You can select multiple objects and do your you know, cross reference you know, at the same time as well. So in this lesson I showed you how to use the cross reference in the Siemens TIA portal software. Thank <music> you.